Well, it's Wednesday, which means it's time to recognize our player of the week. This week's recipient just recently set a school record, and she will be the first golfer from her school to play for a D1 program, committing to South Alabama last August. I went out to Magnolia Grove to present this week's award with the help of Rich's Car Wash. I'm here with a very talented senior golfer out of Baker High School. She shot her personal best and a school record, four under par 67, when her team competed against Orange Beach. She had five birdies on the day, one bogey, and 12 pars. That's why Rich's Car Wash is here to present our Player of the Week to Caitlin Foster. I really like that course. I've played it before, so I knew like where to miss and everything. And my game was just good that day. I was striking the ball well, and I managed to make a bunch of putts. So that helped me shoot my, my personal best that day. Once she got past that one little bogey on number two, it was just game on from there. And the, ball, the birdies were rolling and rolling. The thing I love about her is no matter if she's four under par or four over par, you don't know the difference. She's still, you know, just keeping the pace and keeping the game mode up and not letting herself get too much into every single shot and just kind of going the next hole and, you know, preparing herself to get that hole out of the way, good or bad, and then move on to the next one. Golf is a really mental game. I mean, you can come out and practice all you want, but every day is going to be different. So just not getting in your head and staying true to who you are is definitely key to succeeding. Caitlin came to me as a seventh grader, and uh, we knew from the get-go she was obviously very talented talented on the course, but what I didn't know yet was her student ability. Um, she's got a 34 or 35 on the ACT. She's top 10 in the class of over two or 300 kids. Um, always straight A's, never less than a 97 in any class. For her, I called her a trailblazer because what she's done is opened up this program to the middle school and instead of it being a Baker High School thing, it's a very community-wide thing now with the middle school and kids are obviously always asking, you know, when are tryouts, when can we do this, when can we do that, and that's a lot to do with her that we have been in a grow up program. Yeah, it's just really rewarding. I feel like I work pretty hard, so to get an award like this and to shoot good scores, it just means that all my hard work is paying off. Congratulations to Caitlin for all the success she's had so far this season, and we wish her the best of luck at the next level. And a big thank you to Rich's Car Wash for helping us feature these student athletes each and every week. And if you have a player you think should be recognized, you can email me at emily.cochran at fox10tv.com. Be sure to tune in next week for your next player of the week. Reporting live in studio, I'm Emily Cochran, Fox 10 Sports.